Hiroshima uh, that they were in. Yeah. It was crazy. And so I pass it around. Like, people in the front row kind of pass it around, but nobody wanted to pass it back around after that. And so she wanted me to. I you know, had to take a picture of my box and put it inside the document because she wasn't going to keep the box. But she she's used that to this day. And I took that class in 2010. And she still uses uh, she still uses that the Hiroshima object box and her classes. And then for the final paper, um, I wrote a book on Humpty Dumpty being a solipsist, and that Alice was actually a figment of his imagination rather than her being real and being in the world of the Looking Glass. And, you know, because they, they have the monologue with each other where she's trying to make sense of things and she tries to understand his sense, but she can't. And just, you would have to read the paper, but it was really good and I worked on it for like two months. Like, I worked on it right at the beginning of the class and I mixed in ideas of, you know, solipsism and other psychological philosophical ideals mixed with writing fantasy and all that. It was really good. I got an A plus on it. And she still uses that at uh, in all of her classes for an example paper as well. Like she uses half of my stuff for examples, but she was the one who wrote my recommendation, like my last recommendation letter for grad school that I just uh, turned in my application to a couple days ago. So that was really cool. Food chat after dark. <laughs> Oops. All right. Well, that's fine. As long as somebody died. Ooh. Dude, this guy just does not quit. There we go. So yeah, that was a class that I just rambled on about forever. That it, you know, I wasn't expecting to be really good, but was. Um, so that's cool. I also took a JKD class that was really awesome. Billiards class was awesome. Again, another class I was in with Archaic. That was really fun all the time. I took a lot of really interesting classes. I took anthropology classes, religious studies classes, biology classes. I took some of pretty much everything. Econ uh, economic classes, economics, whatever. All that stuff. Uh, what do I plan to study at grad school? Uh, higher administration. I want to get a, a master's degree in higher administration. And if I can afford to do so, I would like to get a double master's um, with global studies and international relations. I don't know if I'll be able to get the cash flow to do that one. But higher administration would be great, and I would like to teach a class as well. Like, if I could be the college dean of a department, that would be really nice. And help, you know, tighten up policies, or just, you know, be one, of help, be one of the big policy makers on the board of a college or something to actually help put in good policies that work well for the teachers, the students, and the graduate teachers, graduate student teachers that doesn't revolve around sports because sports gets enough help. I don't think there's enough focus on academics these days. Um, so if I could help with that, that would be great. And being able to teach a class would be really cool too. One of your favorite classes was sculpture class. You had a random artist come in every week and present the work. That's pretty cool. Want a career path within the educational system? Um, I just want to work in higher administration. I don't know if I want to like be a teacher for 90 years and then work in an administration thing. I just want to. I just want to work in a field where I can make a difference uh, with policies for people. Basically, I want to work to build a better future. 
And the best way to build a better future is by for me to work in a college where I can help make policy changes that will help students do the best they can, be the best they can, and afford it, and enjoy it, and not feel like they got a degree that they can't do anything with. Teaching the class wouldn't be like, I want to teach math. It would just be me teaching a random class about the world and how it you interact within it and how you understand it individually. Politician? Uh, I don't know if I want to be a politician. Like, if I'm going to be in, a, in politics, I just want to just run the world myself. <laughs> That's pretty much how that goes. Just give me the keys to the world. So Earth Machine, did y'all get any like really cool artists, like well-known artists come in? <laughs> Dictator Jake for President of the World 2016. See, I like that. Being a president, uh oh, that's bad. Being a president um, is kind of a pain because you don't have as much power as you would like to have. And I don't know any president, because I don't pay attention enough, who's been able to really successfully join every political party and them not try to backstab each other behind someone's back on policies and whatnot. And I don't want to have to deal with that because like, I can do my best that I want to try to get everyone to come together and work together and somebody's going to find some reason to hate on it just because it's they have their own personal opinion no matter how much logical sense it makes and because people just for some reason in our country people in politics just don't want to work together and I don't want to have to deal with that crap They want to come together and play nice, and we can all just sit in a Super Bowl stadium and talk it out. Sure, I'll be president, so we can actually make some things happen. But too many people have hidden agendas. Too many people want to do what they want to do. Too many people backstab people in their own political party. Like we can't get ahead. Oh my gosh! Stop it! <laughs> I don't want her to keep dying. Epic name, Papa. It's easier to get electric elected by working against something than working for something. Exactly. So, you know, too many people are going to want to do what they want to do rather than doing what will help everyone. Like, if I was president, one of the first things I would try to do is just immediately just anyone in the country who owns any has any debt whatsoever for anything it's just gone it's just it's just wiped out no questions no ifs ands buts it's just records clean as of this point on because then that money is not going to pay off old debts that are just lining the pockets of greedy lawyers and collection offices it's actually going to them purchasing goods into the economy, which will help drive up demand, which will make businesses money, which will require them to hire more people to make products. So, you know. She only got one max MP from that. And you know how much, you know, more confidence people will feel and how much better and less depressed they would be if something like a huge money burden, like their debt was lifted off their shoulders? Everyone become would become instantly happier and things you would see an immediate positive change. 
Now, if they get themselves back into debt after that, of course, that's on them to take care of. But, you know, give everyone a clean slate. Let them learn their lesson. You know, their lesson has been learned. They can live within their means if they can. You know, they can start working towards that. I mean, of course, just, you know, alleviating their debts, alleviating their debt isn't going to solve their problems. They still, you know, if they're still not making enough to meet ends meet or whatever, but at least they can sleep at night without worrying about, you know, the debt of this thing cutting off or my taxes are coming, but it's all going to get sucked to this credit dude or that credit person. And I'm still not going to be able to do anything about it. I'm talking about erasing every debt that it, any person owns to America. Just gone. Because I was looking at that uh, debt thing the other day. She has like no mat MP. I was looking at the debt, whatever it is, what is it called? Um, the, the national debt chart where you can see, and there's like so much money people owe in debt between college, private loans, other debt, credit card loans, mortgages, car payments, whatever it is. There's just so much money that's just being dumped in there. And so much of it, many people are never gonna be able to pay off. So it's like, just clear it out. There's no need for it to even be in there. You're not gonna get it back cut your losses let everybody start over and try to get themselves in a better position yeah if you clear it out other people are going to get credit cards and stuff and try to rebuild their credit or rebuild their status but they'll try to do things to get themselves off their feet and have a better head on their shoulders and maybe be able to make some changes for themselves it's not going to work for everybody but it's going to work for some people and that can make some great waves Even if just psychologically, like this, see, this is the thing, like, you know, big economists will come up with all these financial reasons and all that stuff, why that's a dumb idea, why you shouldn't do it and all that. But at the same time, they don't look at it from the psychological standpoint, from the well-being of the human who's in that situation. You'll see a mass exodus of business away from the U.S. if you do something like that. Yeah, again, it's a money issue. Who cares? If those businesses go away, then more people will just make businesses here. Because they don't have the debt, they can take a chance to try to make those businesses. And the people who are mad that those businesses will left, that left will go to the businesses that start up and spring up here. Like, it'll sort itself out. But even outside of the monetary aspect, like, there's the whole psychological aspect and the aspect and stuff that the government is supposed to be here to help take care of the people. And it's not just finances that take care of people, it's mental well-being. And our luck is maxed. And, you know, doing something as monumentous as taking someone who is a single person, single parent who has three or four kids and all this debt stacked up because they had a bad divorce or they had a bad beat in life or whatever, can now sleep at night because they don't have bill collectors calling them 14 times a day while they're trying to put food on their kid's table would help them tremendously or just anyone else in general I, I understand the economic implications but that can all be worked around I don't think there's any good reason to keep people in debt I can't think of one keeping people in debt is the dumbest thing ever you can work around all the financial aspects of it you can work around unreliable debt you can work around all that stuff it's all workaroundable. You can find a way to do it. They just don't want to. Like I've taken economic classes. I've sat in with Mark Toma who does like a billion and a half economic classes and seminars and stuff. And he's really well known in the economic business. I have filmed his classes. I've heard his arguments. I've talked with him about it. There's no need to keep people in debt. I'm not glossing over problems. I'm giving a quick sum up of it. I don't have time to sit here and talk for days about the situation. I'm just saying in general, there are there are great benefits to it more than financial reasons why it would be good. And the financial reasons as to why it might be a problem can be worked around. There's no, you know, holding debt over people's head is kind of oppressive. There's no need to be holding them in that situation. Ready? 
I mean, we might have to agree to disagree, and that's fine. I just personally don't see a need for it, especially after talking with lots of people in the economic realm. You know. But yeah, you know, of course there's plenty of things I'm not covering here. I'm not even getting everything out in my proposed solution because, you know, now is not the time to talk about that for 18 hours to try to hash all that out. Plus, you know, we don't know all the... there's information we still don't have so it wouldn't really work out anyway. But I do think it's workable. Most of the people who say no to big changes like that are, I've noticed, not saying you specifically, are you going to stream for hours? Well, I mean, you know, like, like, here's the thing. If we keep things the same, they're just going to stay exactly how they are. Why not take a chance and do something completely different? The worst that can happen is it doesn't work. This country's going to shit anyway. Why not take a chance? You know, staying with the main thing that we're doing now isn't making anything better. Why not do anything different? If it doesn't work, okay, go back to where it was. But the thing is, people are going to put themselves back in debt anyway, so it's not like... I'm not saying never people are never in debt again. I'm just saying give everyone a blank slate and see what happens. Like I said, when I was in college, I talked with quite a few economic teachers. Again, talked to Mark Toma, who was a big name in the economics field, and he couldn't give me a good, really good reason opposing my argument. But of course, we also had time to talk because I was recording his classes. So it wasn't just me talking about this for 15 minutes in a cast, summing everything up really quickly. I don't know. I'm one of those people who aren't afraid to take risks and try something different if what was going before and people are still doing is not working. And so I come up with crazy ideas. It's a very crazy idea. Don't let me tell you it's not. Don't let me tell you it could. Don't let me tell you it's 100% success. I'm not saying that. Let's not let's not misunderstand me here. Let's not get it twisted. It could very well fail. It could very well blow up in my, our, all of our faces very terribly. But at least it's a chance to do something different. Because what we're doing right now is not making a difference, really. I just don't think enough people are open to trying big ideas. Which is why things stay stagnant. bit of XP that time. We're not leveling up fast enough. I need more experience. I feel like I need to go fuse though. But I can't really make anything with these demons. And I can't really catch any of these. Bell, huh? That's cool. Are 
go. I didn't want them to kill Kushinada again. That would have been bad. I guess I save again. I don't remember when the last time I saved was. This is getting really boring for me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's hard. It's it's hard to entertain while grinding, especially when y'all get me on the subjects of politics that no one ever wants to talk about. topic everyone's probably already left <laughs> let's, let's be real here everybody's probably already just been like this guy does not know what he's talking about he is an idiot and he's talking politics and he's grinding why am i watching him i probably have no more followers at this point have i ever played a star ocean game i have not i do have star ocean till the end of time which everyone says is the worst version to have <laughs> but i haven't played it yet so I need to play that at some at some point. Uh, maybe my attract bell ran away. I thought somebody had a skill. So many games. Yeah, I have too many games. You grind that game out as a kid. Yeah, everyone says it's really bad. I don't have the skill to get more people to join to me faster. Every time you play Star Ocean, you just want to play VP. What's uh, what's VP? Um, VP. Nothing's coming to mind. Uh, Valkyrie profile. Okay. <laughs> I was almost there. <laughs> almost there. Goodness. I need more beads, man. Till the end of time wasn't too bad. That's good. All these life stones. I'll just use the medicines though. Valkyrie profile, Xeno Gears. I started Valkyrie profile and, and never finished it because when I got it, I rented it from Blockbuster. Plenty to finish that. Never touched Xeno Gears, I don't own it. Vagrant Story, I started, didn't finish as well. I think I could, that was another blockbuster title. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics I have, I need to play. Xeno Gears, a lot of people say Xeno Gears is like one of their favorite RPGs ever. I need to play it one day so I can find out why. People say that.
That worked out well. It's long, but it's worth it. I'm totally fine with long games. I don't mind. circles is giving me motion sickness. <laughs> it's starting to play with my stomach a little bit. One thing you regret not doing is running a ton of games from Blockbuster right before they shut down. <laughs> hey Genesis Breaker, once you play Xeno Gears, I need to buy it. It's probably really expensive to find, huh? They were selling, I know they were selling their games for sure, but I don't know if you could rent them. I think they kind of knew people were going to do that. Uh, at the one in my old town that I stayed at, I think they stopped renting them. And you could only buy them. Because they knew what people were up to. Because they had signs saying they would charge a credit card if you didn't return it. It's on PlayStation Network. I don't have a PS3. Or four, for that matter. And I would want to play the original cartridge. I don't know if I'm ever going to buy really old games on PlayStation Network if I can get the original cart. I prefer to play the originals. I should kill Sir Laz. He doesn't really do much damage. guys are annoying though. Is a PS1 title? I can totally get it and play it on my PS2 then. I can just stream it through the dazzle here. The thing is, is I can endure one of those Hamas once per bite. Keeping endure was a really good idea. So if you're at 1 HP, I wonder if Holy Wrath kills you. This would be the only time having that one weird demon I had with the weird eyes would be useful because he had the skill that attracted demons. I still, we still can't catch, we can't find a jade to save our entire life ever. I don't understand why. All right, so now that our strength and luck are pretty much maxed, um, I mean, including Magatama. So you look at that, you see that? Our luck is actually higher. Our base luck is higher than our base strength. That's terrible. Time to get more health. All 
I want more jades. Because I can't get any uh, of the good Mitamas. Your chat died? Yeah, it seems like people's chats have been dying. I wonder if there's anything going on on Twitch with it. Let me see. Give me just a second here. Twitter. Open my Twit Twit. I don't really see anybody talking about it. Usually, whenever the ta the Twitch uh, chat dies, a lot of people mention it. I don't see anything, so it must just be either just happening or it's just a small amount of people, which sucks for sure. Must be a Twitch thing going on at the moment. That's unfortunate. Alright, I should probably save since we gained a level. I should probably just save every level. We've gained, what was it? We've only gained three levels though. How long has it been? Like 45 minutes? I don't know if that's good or bad. Probably not good. But Max Lucky wanna play Shin Megami Tensei Blackjack. <laughs> That'd be cool if they had a blackjack game in here. Now see if that mini game with Dante was like, instead of running away from him shooting us, was like beat him in blackjack. I do that all day. Blackjack's really fun. The one time I ever went to a casino, um, I won the money to pay my rent playing blackjack. I proceeded to lose another 40 bucks on the slots, so then I went back to blackjack and won it back. <laughs> And then I stopped for the night, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, Titania doesn't even have 400. Oh no, she's just not healed. If you could pick one demon as a pet, who would I pick as a pet? as a pet or as a just like someone in real life who I could talk to if I wanted to there's a difference there like my favorite persona is Sati but it feels weird to say I want her as a pet that just sounds wrong <laughs> so I don't know if I can say that like so if it would be a pet it would have to be one that looks like a pet version like you know something that could be a pet I don't know who would I pick winning at all in a casino is winning that is true um, like, see, my favorite three personas slash demons is Sati, Titania, and Sibylle. All three would be terrible to say I would want them as a pet. That's just bad. It's <laughs> just really bad. Um, who looks like they would be a cool pet? I mean, the dog that Mama Harlot has would be awesome. Um, who else? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can have them as pets. That wouldn't work too well. So most of them are shaped like humans or really weird demons. Or I guess I can have the little blob, the little um. The Jedi, the first Jedi you run into, that looks like a pet thing. Yeah, their health's still not enough to survive. Um, an Apocalypse plus Megiddo Lawn. They need like 500 health in order to have a chance of surviving that. So I don't know how that's gonna work. When I hit level 70, what level was Sir? 72. Uh, he's a tyrant. Oh, he's level 74. Dang it. See, when I hit level 74, I can just have him join me and then I can fuse stuff. He learns Ragnarok at level 78. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to kill the birds first. 
I didn't kill any of them first. Alright, that's fine. I should kill the birds first, because they got that stupid Mamudun. Oh gosh. They got two. Okay, just just leave. this time. Um, freaking Avenge, man. There we go. Yeah, his Hellfire doesn't really do anything. Not worried about that. <laughs> she not has gained what two levels now? That's pretty good. She can't evolve though. I wish she could. probably just save like every 10k experience points I earn because that's a lot of fights let's see I've been streaming for what time did I start streaming about two hours yeah that's a bit about two hours no wait it'll be yeah it's about two hours no it was it was sooner than that Almost three hours. I've been doing grinding for about 45 minutes, I guess. I'm trying to see how many hours I'm, how many levels I'm gaining per hour, just to keep tabs on my progress. Generally, what I do if I grind on a video game. I just put on headphones and then put on like, I mean, I just put on random music. I usually just put on random trance or something. Now I probably put on like New Job S and Family Jewels <laughs> 7X and just get to work. Hey Les Stark, how you doing? Oh, I need to kill him. His death bounce sucks. Alright, that was a bad way to do that fight. What are my favorite artists within different genres? Well... I really like Family Jewel 7X. He does really great video game covers. Um, let's see. Some of my, I'll just list, I, I won't go by genre, I'll just list some of my favorite artists. Uh, Seven Dust, um, even though they're split up, uh, School Food Punishment, uh, Mao Denda, um, Family Jewel 7X, Mega Ran, um, uh, 
Skim Switch. Another Japanese group. Um, I have to look at my music folder on my phone. I have so much music though. Let's see. Hey, Yosuke. What's good, dude? Let's see. Let me pull up my music real quick. Yeah, I can just go through my artists. Do 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 do. Oh, Ailey, she's really good. She's a Korean singer. She's got a really powerful voice. Um, I could say Billy Ocean. <laughs> could I say Billy Ocean though? I mean, who doesn't like Billy Ocean? Uh, Disturbs really good. I already said Family Jewels. From Zero has some good songs. They have a couple of my favorites. Kill Switch and Gage is a really good group. Yes, it make a ran. Oh, do -do 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 -do. School Food Punishment. Yeah, I need to check out School Food Punishment's new group. The lead singer left and started a new group. Um. Uh, Yeah, Maldenda, Scheme Switch. Yeah, that's probably some of my more favorite groups. New Job S is really good too. I was looking at my artists on my phone, yeah. Trying to go through and see if I missed anybody from off the top of my head. There's some groups I'm missing for sure. That's just a quick sum up, I guess. <coughs> Alright, let's kill this guy. Yeah, that sucks. He passed on. He's really good. starting to crit a little bit more since we got the max luck. I like that. Tanya, she's powering up. Look at her magic. Holy moly. And she learned prayer. Prayer is really good. Uh, probably get rid of Purimpa. She can't talk to anyone so there's no point for her to have charisma honestly. You found some groups similar to his style? Ooh. You should send me a Twitch message or a Twitter message with those groups so I can check them out. If you don't mind. So you're gonna be God Slaying? Ooh, I would like to. She's, they still don't have the health though. Honestly, like, this lineup here is not gonna cut it for this late game anymore. I have to get rid of them all. I can't hold attachments to them. This party here I really like, but she's really under leveled. Even though she's got good skills. Like, if we're gonna beat this, we gotta be at our A game. And we're not anywhere near there. Like, I might be able to beat this guy, but the next person's gonna wreck me. Which the next boss is probably gonna be Isamu's. Since Chiaki got the first head start, she's probably gonna be the first one at the top. Because um, I figure we get a stone for beating each god. That's just my guesstimation but if we're getting this wrecked this hard then it's only going to get tougher as it would make no sense for me to go fight him now just to have to do this again after that oh dude how did i forget future primitive and ludique or ludique i always call them ludique i don't know how to pronounce their name but both of them are really good i like both of those groups really well yeah, we have to get three stones to bring up to the voice of the heavens of this place, the Kagutsuchi, for the creation of the new world or whatever. Wow, she takes a hit. He 
needs to die. Oh, we didn't crit him. I hate that death bounce skill so much. There we go. Oh, I forgot he can level up on his own. Your stomach's not big enough to smack. Why doesn't Titania get tired of holding that dress? <laughs> I think it's part of her regal training. <laughs> oh, he's gonna level up. In five levels, I don't care. What does he tr transform into? What is he? A Yoma? Yoma Persky. Transforms into Ifrit at level 52. Well, that's stupid. That's dumb. I don't care about that. Dude. Alright, well, he's useless. But, you know, the more skills they have when I fuse them, the better, I guess. The better my future demons will be. Oh, whenever we're in between games, I'm going to do a Night of Rebirth. Because I've been saving up. I was saying this earlier in the cast, but most of y'all weren't here yet. Because I'm still trying to do Lost Runs on my own, and they're just killing me. Oh my gosh, they're killing me. I don't stream them, because I I can't stream, talk, and play the Lost at the same time. Like It requires so much focus, just as is. Because I just wait to try to get a... I try to get a run that starts off with decent damage. Not necessarily one that gives me Holy Mantle or the Dead Cat, because most of the time I get them, I don't get anything else. So I was like, okay, well if I can get the damage, then I'll hope to get one of those later. Um, and so I've been just racking up the losses. But I'm starting, I just started today, I should have yesterday, uh, starting to keep the seeds that have like super duper good starts that I lose because I run into spikes like an idiot or I get hit by something that was just really unfair so I can do them again but like Judas or Isaac or something because it would be really fun so uh, when I do that I'll put the seeds up so y'all can play too they're really good runs I think y'all would like them especially the, the one where you know it's first floor poly uh, second floor uh, proptosis. I didn't get to see what was in the devil room because I got hit by because the, the boss on the second floor is uh, is haunt and I got hit by his the leftover barely stray corner of a brimstone shot so I didn't get to see what was in the devil room but if like Abaddon is in that devil room it's gonna be a sweet run So yeah, I'm just saving some like good runs like that. I'm starting to not like any techs, <laughs> any tech items, and that's only because I'm playing with the loss and have no health. But playing with using, trying to use tech with the loss just doesn't work. Oh, they're weak to expel too. I don't mind getting 2k experience a fight, that's actually very helpful. But it's taking us like 15 minutes to gain one level. But I keep getting close, man. Like, I've gotten. I. I got stomped, but I killed Satan with no uh, 
no shielding at all. Just a lot of damage, so. If I can get a high power run and at least get nine lives, I'd be good to go. Oh, I forgot he does the freaking absorption crap. We're dead. Or at least Kushinata is anyway. You sent me a message? Sweet, thank you. I will check out those groups. Maybe tomorrow morning while I'm doing loss runs. <laughs> uh. That works. How is he still alive? Thank you. Chio instrumentals like the job is. I'm down with that. I am so down with that. Thirty three hundred, yeah, let let's do that every fight game. I can level up in no time. Probably heal. That might be a good idea. Oh. Did I play any MMOs before? Oh, I played a ton of MMOs. <laughs> I, of course, played WoW. I played WoW. I started playing WoW in. Uh, 05. I stopped playing a while. Like 07. I kind of played on and off. Whenever a new expansion would come out, I get the like one week trial. I completely forgot I had a week trial for this latest one. I activated it by accident, um, trying to just look at my account. And so I was like, okay, well, I might as well see what it's about. And so I loaded it up. And I played it for about five minutes before I decided I was never going to touch it again because I didn't like how dumbed down it is now. I still like the old interface from, you know, Vanilla WoW. I like the way the talents were lined up. I like what I could do with my hunter then. All that. Because that, my main was a hunter. I know, right? Big Jag Beast likes to be warrior and his main's a hunter. What kind of crap is that? But... I was really good. I was a I was one of the survival hunters back in the day that didn't use a bow. I dual wielded swords. You know, one of the ones where people are always like, "Why are you even a hunter if you're dual wielding swords? Just be a rogue." <laughs> and I was like, I want the pet with it. I was one of those guys, but I always did a lot of damage. Uh, I could hold my own really well in BGs. And I had the sewer beast from Stormwind as my pet. Thankfully, they got rid of a lot of pets, but they still had that, so I still have that pet. But yeah, I turned it off. But I play WoW off and on. I've done private servers with WoW too, just so I could like breeze through content just to see what all was there. Um, I started Mabinogi for... I played Mabinogi for on and off for like a month, but then I didn't have anybody to play it with, so I stopped. Um, I played with Your Destiny Global for a while, maybe four or five months. I started Vindictus for a little bit. Um, I played Maple Story. I played. Uh, there's another one that's kind of like WYD Global. I forget the name of it though, but it's another like no name. Nobody really knows which one it is, and I can't remember the name of it. I could probably find it on some like free MMO to playlist or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I played quite a few MMOs before. I played Diablo, I 
basically. Um, I played Path of Exile with the beta. I can't wait to the beta. I played it. I didn't like Path of Exile very much. I liked their potion system. I thought that was really awesome. But everything else I didn't really care for. Wanted to try Mabinogi, but next time I started border locking. I didn't know they did that. Uh, I've also played. Um, oh, what's the one? Jeez. It's on Steam. You can play it through Steam. You can also play it outside of Steam. Um, oh. Like the max level is like 15 or something. Right? Or 20. Dang it, what is the name of that game? It's a free MMO. It's free to play on Steam. It's like pixel graphics. Uh, gosh. You start off like... You unlock classes as you level up. You start off level one and you can become like a wizard or a paladin as you level up. And you can get little wands and people can drop stuff for you. And people always tend to try to like fight groups. And oh, what is the big demon boss you, what's the big boss you fight at, at the dude? Everybody has to, you have to kill a certain groups. Gosh, it's gonna drive me insane. You have to, you kill certain groups uh, in different caves and it unlocks this one boss in the world. And then you fight him and you go into his dungeon and everybody fights him at once. And then everybody always says that they got this special drop that they never got. Oh, what is it? I'm going to have to log into Steam to see what it is because it's driving me nuts. I can't remember. Oh my goodness, what is it? Um, like it was on its own website at first. Now it's on Steam free to play as well. And so I always played on the website. Then when I made it, when I played on Steam, I had to make a new account, which didn't make sense to me. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have to look it up. Hold on. It is going to drive me insane. Log in. Where is it? Uh, uh let's see. Where is it? Oh my gosh, where is it? It's in this list. It is in here. Dota, Dota 2 Dyad, Elder Scroll Skyrim. I need to install that. God Mode, Hotline Miami, Intrusion 2. Mitsurugi Kamui Hikai. Nuclear Throne, which is an amazing game everyone should play. Proteus, which I've never played. Where is it? Oh my gosh, it's not in the list anymore. What? Did they take it down? Somebody please tell me what the name of this game is. I used to cast it. I used to play it every now and again on the stream. When it was just like random nights where I just didn't feel like doing anything. I would play it. Oh. Realm of the Mad God. Jeez Louise. Realm of the Mad God. Sorry, I I had to figure out what it was, or I was going to go insane. I don't know how I forgot the name of that game, but yeah, Realm of the Mad God. Fun little game. Boy. So yeah, I like MMOs. Um, I also played the beta of Final Fantasy XV and the uh, Elder Scrolls one. I've done some Guild Wars a little bit as well. Like I've played, a, I've dabbled in many, many MMOs. I've just, I tried Rift when it was in beta as well.
your beta tester for IRO. What's that one? That sounds familiar. I don't think I played it, but I think I've heard of it. Are you keeping count of how many MMOs I mentioned? <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 International Ragnarok Online. I play normal Ragnarok Online. Oops. I love that they can get hit twice sometimes. One of the harder ones to play was uh, with your Destiny Global, WID Global. Oh, there was another one I played, and I can't remember the name of it now. Oh, gosh. I don't have any access to find the name of that one, so it's just going to have to bother me forever. Um, it was also a free-to-play one. It was pretty cool. Oh, man. Like, my brain sees it, but I couldn't even try to describe it to you. so many free to play I just have to like pull up a list of free to play MMOs I played before and just add it to the list these are MMOs I've tried so I can personally remember the list because I hate forgetting the name of things you know with our luck being maxed out and having might we still don't crit as much as we should and you know else what else I noticed? Um, Mike doesn't ever proc. So we're gonna learn Javelin Rain next. And Onikagura. I'm going to learn Onikagura. So whenever I get like 3,000 experience away, I need to switch so I can try to learn Onikagura. And I'm probably gonna get rid of Mike because it hasn't crit, it hasn't triggered and I don't even know how long. Oh. I still can't do this one yet. I can't even see what level it is. Space Tingu. Oh, it's alright, man. I just have a lot going on. Mostly stress related. I'll be alright. I've just been trying to push the cast because I didn't want to cancel. I hate canceling my cast. Um, my head is still pounding because I have this light on here but I can't cast with the light off because then you won't even see me I look like this weird crazy shadow I look like one of the demons I'm fighting <laughs> and no one wants that Let's be real. Got him killed, so that's good. I don't mind if they heal themselves.
is why you never use Skype cam anymore. <laughs> I was just the lighting in my apartment. While it is very nice, um, it's not very conducive for the setup I have at the moment. Just because I got rid of so much stuff when I moved. So like I'm using a really tiny desk right now. And like, there's studio lights in the kitchen and there's some right here, but the ones right here uh, light up on the wall too much. So it's hard to look at my camera for a long time because the light gets bothersome on the screen for you. So I either have to use this lamp that I have here so I can have this nicer lighting or I have to use the lights in the kitchen which makes this side of the, of the camera a little too dark. But once I can get um, the, excuse me, the bigger table that I'm wanting, then that should alleviate it because I would be scooted over a couple of inches the other way. I, mean, I don't know how I'm gonna have everything. I might completely. Um, I might completely move everything to the other wall. I don't know. We'll see. Because I won't have to have it connected. I. I my plan is probably to just not use my. Well, I can't do that until I get a third monitor that has HDMI input. So I was gonna say I want to get away from using my TV as a third monitor, just because I don't like having all my electronics so crunched together. Uh, but I need a third monitor so I can have my game consoles on my computer desk. How is he not dead yet? This is ridiculous. Can you kill them? Thanks. Oh. Kushinata's still only level 55. That's ridiculous. Is HDMI better or worse than DVI? It just depends on what you're doing. That's just that uh, my Xbox connects with HDMI, so... Um, I connect it with HDMI into my Dazzle, but the output has to go into my TV because my monitors don't have HDMI output. So I have to get a monitor with HDMI output so I can play Xbox and, you know, when I eventually get a PS3, PS4, and Xbox One, they can output to that without having to use my TV as well. I mean, it'd be cool to use my TV and do couch cast again and stuff, but I can always just move my couch in front of the table or a computer desk thing if I really want to. I just have to be lazy, not lazy, to pull it out, slide it back. I mean, having it hooked up into my TV is great. My TV is 40, 44 inches, and it's got a really nice picture. Um, but again, all of my electronics are crunched. Like my TV's here, my modem's here, my DVR's there, my computer's here, my monitors and towers are here, or my monitors are here, my towers right here on the floor, and my printers right here. It's just all cramped and compacted. I don't like it, and so because of how compacted it is, I don't really get to have good cable management no matter how hard I try, so I don't like that. Magic are out of control too. She'd be really strong if she was a higher level. Oh, 
awesome. That fight went well. That was really well done. track because she's the only one I'm really needing to use shocker drops on. Uh, Titania and Kushinada both have mono refill, so they're good. Besides uh, TV, you rocking for your computer, Space Tango. Wow. Okay. I mean, we're getting some pretty good levels pretty quick. It's been an hour from my last count. We, well, I guess we're not gaining good levels. I, mean, I guess we're. We're getting from about four levels an hour. I guess that's good. I don't really know what the grind ratio is for this game. 46 LG LCD. Nice. so cool. Oh, and we ruined it. We ruined it. He's got like a lightsaber. Should you be using HDMI for that? It just depends on your input, how you want to use it. I mean, you can play around with HDMI and see if you like it, the look of it better. Uh, I knew I should have saved before this fight. No. I'm sorry. I your skills are to that point to where if you change anything it's gonna be bad. I should have saved before that fight. Then I could have gave it a shot. I mean, like honestly I only use HDMI because that's the output that is required for me for streaming. HDMI is nice and all. DVI is fine too. I think you can get some better stuff with HDMI, but I don't need to get that technical with it. I just use it because I need it. Like if you're playing DVI and it's it works great and beautiful for you, go for it. I mean, if you start having some issues with sounds or stuff, maybe switching to HDMI or you have some graphical issues or something, maybe HDMI would be good. I have this like super nice HDMI cord and a normal HDMI cord. I don't notice a difference between the two. Only difference is it's a super nice HDMI cord, which I got for free, thankfully. Uh, it's usually it's around like it's like 20 bucks more than the normal one. And you really don't get anything different from it, so I don't think you really need a super nice HDMI cord if you do HDMI. I did not mean to do that. Whoops. I'm sorry, Titania. Damage. 
told your friend who loves JRPGs you're watching me play this game and you said that this game is awesome and really hard. It's a tough one. It's got its moments where it's really tough. And it's got its moments where it's like ridiculously easy. <laughs> like that white rider. He was so easy. So easy. Most of the riders were actually pretty easy. Same with the Oni, they were supposed to be ridiculously strong. They were pretty easy. The temple bosses were pretty easy. Yeah, I have a lifestone. Sure, join the party. I need fusion bait anyway. Oh, I need to switch Makatamas. Oni Kagura. See, her magic just isn't even on par with the others. Wrecked. Hey, Otrio, what'd you miss? Nothing, we're in grind mode. Thee, but I cannot allow myself to, with your grace, for our s source will conflict. Okay. Wait. So if she's too graceful. Awesome. What reason did I end up supporting? I haven't picked one yet. We started fighting uh, Ariman and he was wiping the floor with us and so like we can't we can't live through his apocalypse Megiddo Long combo Magic's better. So yeah, pretty much we're on the grind for level 72. And the only reason why I picked level 72 is because at that level we should be able to talk to all these people and get them to join our party and then fuse them. Kagura. Physical all enemies. That's all it says. Physical all enemies. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of might because might sucks. It never works. I did it. 
Kaburogi's full power has been unleashed. Go back to Vimana, where our luck is maxed. We got more vitality. All right, so now we gotta see what Onikagura does. Have I played through this game before? I have not. I don't know anything. Like, I still don't know anything even 57 hours in. It's really sad. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Wow, that takes a lot of HP. Holy moly. He missed! What? Wow. Alright. I want to see what this move... Never mind. I wanted to see what the move does, but... I mean, it looks interesting, but 200 health, holy crap, that is a big commitment. Maybe I'll just throw normal punches. But I think for tonight I have to stop here. Like, my headache's starting to get really bad. I need to turn off these lights. Um, and probably stop talking, <laughs> honestly. Because um, my head's rattling when I talk. So, I'm going to stop here. I am so sorry that my casting these past couple weeks have just been terrible. I'm still adjusting to the schedule of the new job. There's a whole plethora of IRL, like, stress stuff I'm dealing with at the moment. Um, it's all, it'll all be fine. It's not a big deal, but it's wrecking me right now, to be honest. It is destroying me. Uh, so I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to try to rest up. I will be back tomorrow. What's today? Friday? Tomorrow's Saturday. So there's still potential for a longer cast as long as my head can stop hurting. No need to apologize? Yeah, I do. I hate when I have terrible quality streams. I hate it. Like, I'm supposed to give you all my best all the time. And whenever I can't give a good cast, I get upset and angry. Because I should be a good caster. <laughs> and I'm not. Uh, anyways. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to host my buddy Richard Hammer. He is playing Rebirth until he decides what he wants to play. Um, he is next up in that rotation of people I follow who I haven't gotten a host in a while. And he shaved recently. He used to have more facial hair. He's chopped it all off. So you can go watch him be awesome at games and be more entertaining than I've been, you know. But uh, thank you all for watching. Tomorrow we'll be back, and honestly, yeah, we're going to be grinding some more, for sure, because I have four, at least four more levels to gain. I might go just to an even 75. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. I'll probably hit 72. Go see what I can fuse and then decide from there. But uh, so, yeah, we're going to host him up. And I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you all for kicking it and bearing with my crazy life. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for watching.